Today's video is going to be really amazing. I will be showing you a great way to detox and clean your kidneys fast and naturally. This kidney cleanse tea is one of the most surprising home remedies you can use to reduce creatinine level naturally. It is made just from three organic and GMO free ingredients and you will be able to find these herbal remedies easily. No expensive or hard to find supplements will be involved in today's kidney detox recipe. Let's see how to make it. Hello, this is Catherine. Welcome to Double O Kidney. Question, have you ever done a kidney detox? How often do you do them? Let me know in comment section. Can't wait to hear from you. A little warning. The kidney detox home remedy tea we're making today is a potent recipe. I'm using some proven herbal remedies and there will be some noticeable effects on your health. And even if most of the people experience no symptoms at all, there's a chance of mild discomfort and stiffness in the low back. There's also a chance of strong smelling or darkening of the urines. But don't worry if this happens, these signs are only showing a major release of toxins from the kidneys. This will only indicate that the cleansing is working, so don't be alarmed. Also, most of the people don't have any side effects and still get the benefits from this kidney cleanse. Now, who can benefit most from this kidney cleanse tea? This is made mainly for people suffering from chronic kidney disease. All the ingredients are perfectly safe, even for patients in the last stage of CKD. And this recipe is, uh, well, very effective, as you will see in a moment. So be sure to share this video with anyone you know who suffers from CKD, because it can help them. This detox can also help if you just want to take care of your kidneys and your whole body health after maybe a particularly rough period or for people who just want to jump start their body for unhealthier lifestyle. So it isn't just for people with kidney disease. The kidney cleanse tea I'm making today is made just from this three ingredients you can see right here. The benefits of these three herbal remedies are going to be quite amazing once we combine them, while potent alone combining with these herbs can take their potential to a whole new level. Let's start. I'm going to pick our first ingredient. This is a plant that you can actually grow in your garden if you live in a temperate climate. And actually, I did grow it in my garden, as you can see. This is called rosemary or rosmarinos officinalis. Rosemary has been used for centuries to treat a wide array of illnesses and today's science is actually backing up several of these health claims of rosemary. It will be great in our kidney cleanse tea. 
it's really good for our kidneys because it contains some polyphenols like carnosol and flavonoids like lutilon. Their properties are really amazing. Let's collect some. The best days to pick it are the sunny and dry days, like today. It can be harvested during spring or summer. We're just going to cut a couple of small branches today for our tea. The right way to harvest is to cut off just the top 3 inches of each sprig. This way the plant can recover, so don't cut it too close. If you get more rosemary than you need for the recipe, you can freeze it or dry it. Ok, this is enough rosemary. Let's get back to the kitchen. Rosemary is really rich in vitamins, calcium and iron, really useful for our kidneys. It's a perennial plant. If you grow it, you can make tea straight from the leaves you can pick from your garden. We just need the leaves to make tea, so we'll remove them from the sprig, like this. And we set them aside. Rosemary can help with high blood pressure, heart health, immune health. It will also reduce oxidative stress and improve digestion thanks to all these properties. And to its sharp, fragrant smell, it will give an invigorating note to our tea. Don't worry if you don't have this in your garden, you can easily find rosemary in most of the herbalists shops or on Amazon. Rosemary is not just a very popular home remedy, it is also used as a spice to flavor several culinary specialties. The second herbal remedy I'm using is something we all know and love for its properties. It lowers blood sugar, reduces the risk of diabetes, prevents osteosporosis, reduces inflammation, helps with skin problems and can even help with sleep and relaxation. It has been used for thousands of years in folk medicine with amazing results and there are extensive researches showing its health benefits. Have you guessed what herbal remedy is this? It's chamomile tea. Incredible, isn't it? Chamomile tea is something that everyone used at least once to relax or to sleep better. But who could have guessed it had so many benefits? This is why we're going to use it as a part of our kidney cleanse tea. Now, if you want to, to get all these benefits from chamomile, you should prepare it in a different, more potent way than usual. You won't get all the benefits if you don't infuse it the right way. So watch this video till the end so I can show you. And also the quality of the chamomile flowers we're using will be playing a crucial role. As you can see, this is not your usual store bought and bagged chamomile. Actually, I'll show you. This is the content of a bag of chamomile tea from the supermarket. You see, everything is grinded, doesn't look really natural and this the chamomile we'll be using for this tea. There's a lot more petals and this is what makes it stronger. Again, 
the more potent the tea, the more the health benefits. So the more the petals, the better. So this one thing to look for when you're buying dried chamomile flowers for making tea. The other thing you want is to find a brand that can send you certified chemical free organic chamomile flowers. Take a look at the flowers when you open the package and see if they look natural. The less processed, the better. You can even grow chamomile in your garden if you have enough space. It can grow in almost any area of the world with a temperate climate, just like rosemary. By the way, if you don't know how to find the herbs, in the description I'll put a link to some trusted sellers on Amazon. To our next herb, here it is. This is the dried root of dandelion. You can often find this particular herb in gardens and meadows. Also called Taraxacum officinale, this plant may even grow in your garden like a um, pesky weed. But the entire plant is actually edible, from the roots to the blossoms and leaves. The root is what we're going to use today. This is not a well-known home remedy for kidney disease. Dandelion is actually considered more a liver tonic than a kidney disease herbal remedy. But especially if in combination with chamomile, its benefits are going to be really great for our kidneys. Just like chamomile, dandelion root can fight diabetes, and high blood sugar levels. How? Dandelion root contains insulin. This soluble fiber supports the growth of healthy gut bacteria that can increase insulin sensitivity. This will prevent both insulin spikes and blood sugar spikes. Let's remember that diabetes is the number one cause of chronic kidney disease across the globe. So anything that fights high blood sugar levels will fight chronic kidney disease. Now, if this wasn't enough, dandelion is also a mild diuretic and will help our body detoxifying and releasing what it has been holding onto. Dandelion can also help with skin disorders like rashes, psoriasis and even itch. Recent studies even shown promising effects as an anti-cancer agent for dandelion and it also fights cholesterol. There are a lot of benefits from a single ingredient. Now, an important thing to know about dandelion is that it can readily absorb heavy metals and pesticides from the ground. So, only harvest it if you know that the soil where you found it is actually untainted. Or buy from a brand that can certify that product is OGM and pesticides free. Like this one that I got. Now, this is dried root and you can tell they dried correctly because the outer flesh has this darker brown color while the inner flesh is more white. Now, doing a detox is a little bit more complex than just sipping tea, so bear with me for a moment before we get to the recipe. I know that the people following me here at Double O Kidney are really serious about their kidney health and that they really care about the health of their kidneys. I'm always reading and answering your comments, so I know that you're already pretty educated about the importance of the renal system 
for the health of your body and on how to keep your kidneys healthy. So I want to be repeating the same advice people always give about kidney health, like avoiding to smoke or to eat junk foods. But what I must absolutely tell you is that to do a kidney cleanse, we will need to cleanse our whole body too. We are approaching the topic of the kidney cleanse as an all-in-one type deal. This means that to give your kidneys the best chance to heal, we are going to drink this tea during a detoxing period. The main goal of this detoxing period is to, you guess it, remove all the unwanted toxins from the body, to clean the kidneys up and to give them the chance to recover they need. This is a great way to clean your kidneys naturally and to lower creatinine levels. Okay, there are basically two ways to do a cleanse. It doesn't matter if it's a kidney cleanse, a whole body cleanse, a master cleanse, you can do it the hard way or the soft way. A lot of people do cleanses while fasting. You can do this for a weekend, for example. So you won't be eating anything during the weekend, just the cleansing tea. But this may be a bit too extreme for a lot of people suffering from kidney disease. There may be issues. For example, some patients cannot lose too much weight. Or a fasting may not be compatible with their renal diet. So it is up to you to decide. You only know what is your situation and what is best for you. You may prefer to do the cleansing the less extreme way without fasting. In this case, you should still try and remove all the toxins you can from your diet. So, at least one week before starting the kidney cleanse, stop eating anything containing chemicals, hydrogenated fats, GMOs, sugar, processed foods, and toxins in general. Also, don't drink and don't smoke if you can. Drink more water to help the kidneys flushing the toxins. This only apply if you're not on a fluid allowance and focus on sleep. Sleeping well is really important because it allows our body to recharge and reorganize. This gives our kidneys the chance to remove the toxins accumulated throughout the day. Okay, now that we have clarified the detoxifying part of this cleanse, let's get back to the kidney tea part. So let's make this kidney detox tea. Start by boiling some water. I'm using 4 cups or 1 liter of purified water to make the detox tea. While it heats up, let's prepare the herbs. You can do this day by day or you can prepare the right quantities only once and store them together. Or you can make tea for 2 or 3 days and then store it in the fridge. I usually prefer to do it in the morning and then drink the kidney detox tea during the day. Okay, now we need 1 tablespoon of chamomile, 2 tablespoons of dandelion and 1 teaspoon of rosemary. As soon as the water is boiling, add the herbs. This is for 4 cups of water.
the hotter the water, the better. The tea will be more potent. Stir a little bit and let it sit for 20 minutes, stirring occasionally. It's almost ready, but there's one thing I want to tell you about. A lot of people here on Double Okini are using this program to improve their GFR and lower their creatinine. Some of them even reversed their kidney disease. This program is easy to follow and effective. The doctor that wrote the books of which the program is composed will even give you a free consultation. I'm leaving a link here if you want to give it a try. Back to our recipe. Strain all the tea through a fine mesh sieve. Here we go, the tea is ready. This is all for today, thank you for watching.